Hello students, today we will study unit number 2 AC circuits in which we will understand the series RC circuit. So in this video we are going to understand two main points regarding to this that uh, why in the case of series RC circuit current leads the potential by phi and how value of power factor for series RC circuit comes to be cos phi is equals to R by Z. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. Okay. So first we will understand the meaning of a series RC circuit. Now series RC circuit means what? That such a circuit in which one resistor and one capacitors are used and both are connected in series with each other. As for example, over here, I will take one uh, resistor whose resistance is R and one uh, capacitor whose capacitance is C. Both are connected in series with each other and connected with one alternating voltage source. So for our easiness, we will consider that for a particular time or at some time instant, current is flowing in this direction which is in clockwise direction and equation of current we will consider as i is equals to i m of sine of omega t now as resistor and capacitor both are connected in series that is why whatever amount of current that will flow from resistor same amount of current will flow also from the capacitor that means current equation for resistor and capacitor both would be same as both are connected in series but potential across both of these devices would be different. Let us say potential difference across this resistor is suppose Vr and potential difference across this capacitor plates will be suppose Vc. Okay. Now we know one thing. In the case of pure resistive circuit, what we can write? Current is in phase with potential. So same thing I will write point number one for pure resistive circuit. What we know? We know that that current is in phase with what? With potential or voltage. Okay, now same thing we can understand from the phasor diagram also that you know very well that that is what that is suppose uh, potential across resistor and uh, current is in phase with potential. So over here I will draw what current I am not writing IR. Why? Because from resistor and capacitor same current will flow. So I will write I but VR I am writing because potential across resistor and capacitor are different. Okay. So that is the meaning of what current is in phase with potential. Okay. Now for the case of a pure capacitive circuit only capacitor we know one more thing. So that thing I will write what that uh, for pure capacitive circuit what we know. We know that that whatever current is there, that current leaves the potential by 90 degree. That already we have studied. So I will write that current leads potential or you can say voltage by 90 degree. Now same thing uh, we can understand with the help of phasor diagram also how that over here current leads the potential current leads the potential. That means what? That potential lags behind the current. Both are same. So over here I will draw one vector which is like this which is V of C means potential across what? Across capacitor. So that diagram represent what? That diagram represents that current leads potential by 90 degree or you can say that Potential lags behind the current by 90 degree. Potential पीछे चल रहा है pi by 2 current से या current आगे चल रहा है potential से 90 degree for the case of pure capacitive circuit. Okay. Now for point number one, if I want to write for pure resistive circuit, if current equation I is equals to I m 
साइन ओमेगा टी देन वॉट इज वॉट इज द इक्वेशन फॉर पोटेंशियल फॉर प्योर रेजिस्टिव सर्किट पोटेंशियल फॉर प्योर रेजिस्टिव सर्किट विल बी वॉट दैट वी एम मैक्सिमम पोटेंशियल अक्रॉस द रेजिस्टर साइन ऑफ ओमेगा टी Why this equation we are writing? Because current equation is this that we are considering, and uh, phase of current and potential both are same. Why? Because current is in phase with potential for the case of pure resistive circuit. So over here, phase both phase having same value. Okay, so that is your equation number two. Now from the second equation, uh, second point for pure capacitive circuit, if value of current which is same, same current is flowing, I is equals to I M of sin of omega t then uh, potential across the capacitor will be what that will be or vm of c sin of omega t now over here current leaves the potential by 90 degree or you can say or you can say potential lags behind the current lags behind the current that means phase of potential is less than the current by pi by 2 so i will write minus pi by 2 same thing you can see from the diagram also that is what that is below the x axis so that is what pi by 2 that is your pi by 2 but how minus pi by 2 if it is on uh, positive side of x then plus pi by 2 negative side so minus pi by 2 or you can remember like that that in the case of uh, pure capacitive circuit whatever potential is there that potential lags behind the current by pi by 2 or current leads the potential by pi by 2 okay so say that is your equation number 2 now from both of these equations we have to find out the uh, resultant value of maximum potential over here when only resistor is there then maximum potential is vm of r when only capacitor is there then maximum potential is vm of c but over here both are combined that means we have to take the addition of both we cannot say resultant is equals to vm of r plus vm of c no both are the vectors so we have to add both of this quantities vectorially how let us see so we will draw the vector diagram by taking the reference of this diagram so over here we are is in this direction so i will write vm of r so vm of r i have represented in form of a vector then vm of c that is your vc so i will draw that is your vm of c so both of these values i have represented and from that you have to do the vector addition so supposing resultant maximum value of a vm will be pass like this at an angle of phi and that is what that is your current i okay now uh, how we can add both so for that purpose one equation you know that resultant maximum potential is equals to what that is your vm of r square plus uh, vm of uh, c square vm of c square that is square root plus 2 vm of r vm of c cos theta theta is what angle between two vector so that is the angle between two vector so theta value is what pi by 2 so cos 90 or pi by 2 Now here you can say cos 90 is what cos pi by 2 is zero, so that whole term becomes zero. So remaining maximum potential, which is resultant, is what V M of uh, R square plus uh, V M of uh, C square. That's it. Okay. So V M is equals to under square root of. Now we'll find the value of V M of R. You know Ohm's law. What V M is equals to what I M R or I R. so simply we'll write the value of vm of r that uh, in square that is your square so i m square r square plus vm of c so vm of c capac capacitor again ohms law i m of r v i r we cannot write why because you know one thing that in capacitor instead of resistor tons one quantity is there which is known as xc and that xc will behave like a resistance which is known as capacitive reactance and its unit is ohm so instead of vm of c we will write im of xc so r is in ohm x is also in ohm so imr im xc x is just like resistance which is known as capacitive reactance so i will write uh, uh, im square 
x c square okay then i will write vm is equals to i will make common as i m square and the taking outside of the root so i m square root is only i m under square root of x c square plus r square or r square plus x c square okay now vm is equals to i m now students that quantity that quantity that we will try to understand how that uh, you know very well we know vm is equals to ir or over here further i will write what that uh, vm is equals to i r i m r now we will compare this ohm's law with this equation this equation so vm is present yes i m is present yes but instead of r this term is present so this term will behave like a resistance and uh, value uh, you can say unit of this term is also ohm so this term is known as impedance so i will write over here impedance is denoted by z so z is equals to x square plus r square and unit of z is what in terms of ohm if you have remembered in the case of series uh, lc circuit impedance was xl square plus r square and in the case of pure rc circuit impedance is x square plus r square okay now that impedance is what it is known as total resistance if you know very well that in the case of pure resistance what we are saying r is the resistance in the case of pure uh, capacitance uh, capacitive circuit uh, xc is known as uh, capacitive reactance in the case of pure inductive circuit xl is known as uh, uh, inductive reactance similarly when two or more devices are combined then whatever total resistance is there whatever total resistance is there that total resistance is known as impedance whose unit is ohm so instead of that uh, we will write what we will write z now that value of z we can determine with the help of diagram also how let us check so over here that is what that is uh, r means uh, that is our, our resistance vector then that is your vm of c and for capacitor resistance is what that is your uh, um, xc xc means uh, capacitive reactance okay and we want the we want the resultant or total impedance from both of this term so you, over here you can say that is your uh, impedance which is say z okay so if i will draw one line over here so that will be your xc that z looks like n so that is your z that angle supposing phi from this diagram you can say that the z value is equal to square root of xc square plus r square z value equals to xc square plus r square and if you want to find out the direction of this phi so can i write like this tan phi is equals to tan phi is equals to what you can write that is your perpendicular by base xc by r or you can write like that that uh, over here i will write phi is equals to tan inverse xc by r so with the help of this angle phi you can find out the direction also of impedance okay uh, now uh, over here from the diagram also one conclusion is there which one that uh, when only resistor is there so current is in phase with resistor when only capacitor is there then uh, current leads the potential by 90 degree but when both are combined then one resultant value we are getting for maximum potential so we can say that in the series our c circuit current leads the potential by 90 degree so same important sentence i will write that in the case of a series rc a series rc circuit what from the diagram current leads potential or you can say voltage potential by pi by 2 or 90 degree now another way you can say like that what from the diagram that uh, potential lags behind the current by 90 degree so i will write potential or voltage potential lags behind the current by pi by 2 okay so if during the combination 
सेम करंट इज फ्लोइंग सो इफ करंट इज आई इज इक्वल टू आई एम ऑफ साइन ऑफ ओमेगा टी देन वॉट एवर रिजल्ट एन पोटेंशियल इज देर वेन बोथ आर कंबाइंड सो दैट रिजल्ट एन पोटेंशियल इक्वेशन विल बी वॉट वी एम ऑफ साइन ऑफ ओमेगा टी माइनस पाई बाई टू वाई माइनस पाई बाई सॉरी ऑफ दैट पोटेंशियल पोटेंशियल लैक्स बिहाइंड द करंट बाय सॉरी माई मिस्टेक phi over here also potential lags behind the uh, current by phi because that is your phi that is your resultant lags behind the current by phi so minus phi so that is the equation when r and c are connected in series okay now uh, finally we will discuss about the power factor so power factor how we can say so over here i will write uh, power factor power फैक्टर पावर फैक्टर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय व्हाट कॉस फाइव इज आर बाय जेड ओके सो दैट इज ऑल अबाउट द सीरीज आरसी सर्किट नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू एंड दिस वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल कैलकुलेट द न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन आरसी एंड आरएल सर्किट सो टिल देन रीड हार्ड वर्क हार्ड थैंक यू वेरी मच